Kepler 12 Futurecast. Good morning, everybody. We are looking at some rain and wind on the way for the weekend. The good news is most of it comes through when you're sleeping, when it's dark. So we like to hear about that. When there's rain on the way for the weekend, we might as well bring it through when we're not outside doing stuff. Now, today we'll be gray, cool, cloudy, and breezy into the afternoon. In fact, we have those winds coming in from the east, southeast, and that wind direction can generate some pretty big waves and even the potential of a little coastal flooding. It's a wind direction that's not the best if you want to avoid things like that. It's not as bad as a wind that comes in from the uh, pure southerly direction, so that's the good news. So some uh, coastal flooding possible. In fact, a close coastal flood advisory from 8 p.m. tonight through tomorrow morning, but this is not expected to be widespread, just some isolated areas of minor flooding. So just something to keep in mind. A wind advisory also in effect tonight through tomorrow morning. So rain and wind on the way. Timing is on our side, just like the song, although the song is just time is on our side, but close enough, most of the daylight hours are dry. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 verifies that. We're not seeing any precipitation right now. We have some hazy sunshine out there. The clouds went out as we go throughout the day. The temperature is 34 degrees. Those winds out of the northeast at six miles an hour. Taunton at 30 right now. We're 34 in New Bedford. Smithfield 34. A little milder here in Westerly at 40 degrees. Notice some heavy downpours already out in portions of Pennsylvania, but there's a lot of dry real estate in between here and here. That's why most of our daylight hours are dry. And then the center of the storm pushes through overnight through early tomorrow morning. There's a the center right here just south of Chicago. And again, that'll whip up some winds and heavy rain. Now we can time this thing hour by hour, 8 o'clock this morning. No green showing up. That's good because the green and the red represents showers. We don't see that. Even at 555, we're not seeing that. However, an isolated sprinkle is possible by this point, but the heavy rain really holds off until very late tonight, say after 10 or 11 o'clock. The red representing the thunderstorms and some heavy downpours. Keep in mind, the thunderstorms, that's not a sure bet. The chance of them moving through um, is there, but uh, keep in mind you may be in a region that does not see the thunder, but everybody gets some heavy rain and wind. Then as we go through tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, the storms push out. So you can see by 1230, we have some sunshine. So if you're heading out early for, say, uh, Palm Sunday services, you may have some rain to deal with very early in the morning, but by late morning, we're pretty much done. As for this afternoon, mostly cloudy, 47 degrees. By 3 o'clock, we're 49. The breezes will make it feel even cooler. So definitely the kind of day that you want to bring along the jacket, especially if you're walking around places like the South Shore. Wakefield gets up to 48. A chilly day in Newport, high of 47 degrees in Ashaway, 47 as well. Now, in terms of those breezes, they'll take a while to get going. So uh, during the morning, between about 5, 10, maybe 15 miles an hour, then we could see some of those winds get up to around 25 as we go into the late afternoon. Southeastern Massachusetts, temperatures upper 40. 40s, low 50s, 48. Westport Seacock gets up to 51 in Middletown at 47 degrees. Overnight, some heavy rain, a wind advisory in effect. Could see some gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour, so we do have to be uh, aware of the potential for some isolated power outages and some of those down tree limbs. Seven day future cast brings in a nice day for Marathon Monday. 62 year high temperature. Maybe you have the day off and you're headed up to watch the Boston Marathon. Maybe you're running it. That's far, that's a lot further than I could run, but congratulations if you're doing that. Tuesday, chance of uh, some showers, low 50s, also some showers possible on Wednesday, but Wednesday could be quite mild. We'll continue to track that Wednesday forecast. We may actually pump up those temperatures. Thursday, 63, mostly sunny. Friday, 59, a little cooler with mostly sunny skies. So all in all, we bring in the rain, but most of the daylight ends up dry. So I know Catherine Sotnik is a big fan of that <laughs> forecast. Well, it'll be a little gray today, but we can, yeah. we can deal with it. We will have to fine. deal with it. Yep. Okay, thank you, Pete. <laughs> yep. And now for a look at what's happening over the weekend.